Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and this week I've been testing out a few knife sets and some tableware from J.A. Henkels. In front of me, I have the J.A. Henkels, two of the J.A. Henkels Forge sets, the Forge Premio. I have a 14 piece Forge Premio set, as well as a 12 piece Forge Premio set. I also have the J.A. Henkels Fine Edge Statement set right here. Um, each of these sets comes with a sharpener. It's a steel sharpener. So I'm going to just take you a walk, take you on a walk through each of these sets, um, tell you about the knives and how they work, and then I'm going to show you the flatware. So these are the three J. A. Hinkle's knife sets I was sent to test. I'm going to show you each knife and uh, give you an idea of what its purpose is. These are the J.A. Henkel's Forged Premio Knife Sets. One is a 12-piece set and one is a 14-piece set. The main difference between these two sets is that the 12-piece uh, set has four steak knives and the 14-piece set has six steak knives. The 12-piece set has a utility knife included, while the 14-piece set has a um, carving knife included. You can, also you can also purchase the carving knife, knife separately, and I have a quick clip of that too. This is the J.A. Henkel steak knife. Um, this is used to obviously cut steak and chicken. There are six of these in the 14-piece set and four of these in the 12-piece set. These are forged from stainless steel. This is the serrated utility knife. That's also a tomato knife. You can use this one for cutting through bagels or uh, slicing tomatoes. Both the 12 piece set and the 14 piece set have this knife. This is the uh, J.A. Henkel's eight inch carving knife. This is included in the 14 piece set. While in the 12 piece set, the um, it includes a eight inch utility knife. You can see that the blades are slightly different. One is thicker than the other. Um, one is used for slicing and dicing, uh, while the other is used strictly for carving. This is the Santoku knife with the Grafton edge. This knife is um, kind of one of the uh, kings of the entire operation, and uh, you can use this for slicing, dicing, um, if you have excellent knife skills, it's a very handy knife to have around. This paring knife is perfect for peeling um, apples or pears or making tiny slices. No. This is the J.A. Hankel's Chef's Knife. This is the knife that I would use for almost everything. There is one in the 14-piece set as well as one in the 12-piece set. Each set includes the uh, J.A. Henkel's um, steel sharpener, so there are actually instructions on the side of the box on how to use the sharpener. They recommend that you use the steel sharpener after every use. The 14-piece uh, forged premio and the 12-piece forged premio also include a set of kitchen shears. Um, you can use these kitchen shears for uh, cutting fish or um, just other kitchen tasks that would involve a pair of scissors or be handy with a pair of scissors. Wow. The J.A. Henkel's Fine Edge Statement Set is slightly different from the Forged Premio. This is made from high quality stainless steel, um, but this is not a forged set. So it comes with a chef's knife, a utility knife, a santoku knife, um, as well as a bagel tomato knife with a scalloped edge, and a parry knife, and that's about it. It also has a pair of kitchen scissors and a sharpening steel. This carving set is um, an additional J.A. Hinkle's knife and it includes the um, tongs that you would place into like the turkey or the chicken. Um, and uh, if you do have that, you do have an extra place in your knife block for it. This is the J.A. Hinkle's Classic Collection Tableware. This uh, tableware is a 45 piece set, so it's made from 1810 stainless steel. Um, it's a European design, it's very timeless and classic looking. And each set includes eight dinner knives, eight dinner forks, eight dinner spoons, eight salad forks, and eight teaspoons. There's also a hostess set included with a large slotted spoon and serving spoons. So when you pick up the, um, the classic collection, this is the Allegro model. 
Um, you'll notice how heavy it is. So that's the difference that stainless steel makes when you're purchasing flatware. Um, it's very durable. It's dishwasher safe um, and it shines right up. I've used it a couple times and uh, really liked it. So I've got the chef's knife and I'm just going to show you how it works. You can use a chef's knife for almost anything. Uh, it's completely up to you. But this is bone-in chicken. As you see, it slices right through the bone in the chicken. Just have to apply a little bit of force, especially with the larger bones. But at the same time, it also does some thin, neat slicing. There are actual J.A. Henkel uh, videos to teach you knife skills. I don't have as many knife skills as I would like. It's definitely something that I aspire to um, and I'd like to learn a little bit more about. But in the meantime, show you how thinly this can slice chicken. It's extremely sharp, so you have to be really careful when you use them. Um, but they're perfect for a hobby chef or uh, someone who's just uh, getting into cooking. I have some fresh rhubarb from the garden in front of me and I'm going to uh, use the uh, paring knife just for um, just for tiny little slices. Um, normally paring knife is for apples and everything but you can also use it if you'd like to make small slices with um, something like rhubarb. You can also use, I'm using the uh, forged premio paring knife right now from the 12 piece set. You can also use the chef's knife for something like this. Um, if you're obviously a little bit better at cutting than I am, it does slice right through. There's definitely an art to this, but it just shows you how finely it can slice. Generally, a paring knife is used for peeling apples, um, so you can probably get very very sharp you can feel it just glides along the apple once your apple has all of the peels off of it you can slice it up with your chef knife really a chef's knife is is a catch-all for everything you can use it for almost any kitchen task Cleaning the J.A. Henkel's knives um, is very easy, but uh, they are dishwasher safe, but I wouldn't recommend that you put them in the dishwasher. Um, if you do, and for some reason they um, stay wet, they could develop rust spots because they are stainless steel. So the easiest way to wash them is to put them in the sink, wash them really quick, and then dry them right away. That's it for my look at the J.A. Henkel's knife sets. You can see my full written review on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.